like to begin the uh, meeting of the Township of Hamilton Committee, Monday, October 7th, 2024. Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided pursuant to the New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law by posting a notice of this meeting on the bulletin board in the municipal building and by publication in the Press of Atlantic City and Star Ledger <coughs> on January the 6th, 2024. Mr. Cheek? Here. Mr. Laws? Here. Mr. Batali? Here. Dr. Witherspoon? Here. Mayor Schenker? Here. Can we have a moment of silence for private reflection? Thank you. Uh, we have no guest presentations. Additions or deletions of late agenda items to be considered for action tonight. Additions, 12, additional executive session item, municipal court update, attorney client privilege, contract negotiations. So moved. Second. We have a motion and second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The ayes have it. Early public comment on agenda items, excluding items listed for public hearings. We have no one signed up. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have nothing in discussions, no public hearings, and no introductions of ordinances. We'll move on to number six, awards, bids, contracts, change orders. A, resolution authorizing Nick Amato, CFO, to execute the agreement, an award a contract to Bowman and Company LLP of Voorhees, New Jersey to provide professional services to the township <clears throat> for administration of section 125 cafeteria plan for the 2025 plan year amount not to exceed $2,000. Motion. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. Are there any questions or concerns? I have a question. Sure, go ahead. It's not that much money, but I don't really understand I, I need more of an explanation. I read the letter for the 125 cafeteria plan. What is it? So it allows the employees to set aside a portion of their salary every two weeks um, to help offset the cost of co-pays and out-of-pocket expenses for medical. Um, I looked back last couple years. Um, we we have it not to exceed a 2000 but we've only spent $400.22. 425 and 23 and right now so far we're at 475 so it's not really a big ticket item it's just a service that we provide to the employees right now we have one employee that is a member yeah it basically just pays for co-pays for yeah mm -hmm. okay Rita, can we do a roll call vote, please? Yes. Mr. Chi? Yes. Mr. Laws? Yes. Mr. Patali? Yes. Dr. Witherspoon? Yes. Mayor Shanker? Yes. All yes and Karen. Thank you. B, resolution resolution authorizing award of janitorial services, bid number 2024-11 to Offshore Carpet Cleaning, LLC of Linwood, New Jersey, for the period of 1-1-25 to 12 25 in the amount of $61,828. And an alternate one biohazard cleaning in the amount of three hundred dollars. <coughs> motion. I'll second. You have a motion. We have a second. Are there any questions or comments? I have a question. Okay. This was not the lowest bidder, so why did we? Dr. Witherspoon, I had the opportunity to review this with the finance. Uh, there were two bids, that's correct, that was received. One bid was in the submission lower, but the bid packet that was submitted was in compliance to either the statute or the requirements of the bidding instructions because of what wasn't submitted and what was lacked in that response. Uh, it wasn't waivable under the statute, so it was disqualified as being unresponsive. Okay. Any other questions? 
Hearing none, Rita, could we do a roll call vote, please? Mr. Cheek? Yes. Mr. Laws? Yes. Mr. Patali? Yes. Dr. Witherspoon? Yes. Mayor Shanker? Yes. Perry? <laughs> Thank you. C, resolution authorizing purchase of bulk rock salt from the Atlantic County Co-op for the 2024-2025 season from Atlantic Salt Company at $67.21 per ton, not to exceed $304,840. So, so second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any questions, comments? Hearing none, Rita, can we do a roll call vote, please? Mr. Cheek? Yes. Mr. Laws? Yes. Mr. Patali? Yes. Dr. Witherspoon? Yes. Mayor Shanker? Yes. All yes and carry. D, resolution to approve change order number two for cooperative fleet maintenance and management services, bid 2021-04, contract to Transdev, a.k.a. Uh, first service vehicle, so first vehicle services decrease in the amount of three thousand seven hundred and eleven dollars and five cents. So move. So move. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any questions or concerns? Key word there: decrease. Rita, roll call vote, please. Mr. Cheek. Yes. Mr. Laws. Yes. Mr. Patali. Yes. Dr. Witherspoon. Yes. Mayor Shanker. Yes. Oh, yes Thank you. Uh, consent agenda. We have A through M. I'll move A through M. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Are there any questions or concerns? Go ahead. Uh, C, on the resolution with the shared agreement with Powell and us, I had asked about the insurance because there was nothing attached to it, to the paperwork. Rita. Yes, ma'am. I do have it just on my phone. I have showed it to the attorney and the administrator. Um, we do have it at this point. Um, it's up to you. If you can make, you want to make it contingent upon it, me getting it in hard copy or? No, I mean, as long as we have it. Okay. We have it. All right, that was that, was that question. I'm okay. sorry, Mr. Mayor, what item was she talking about? C, C, C. The policy power building. Went, the policy yeah. went into effect in June of this year, and it expires next June. And for the record, I have seen it. It has been presented to me as well. Thank you. And just two other things. Um, e and F. <laughs> we are refunding um, for these family dwellings. So I don't understand why we... So we recently appointed a housing liaison. Um, we hadn't had one in almost two years. He discovered these two issues um, over on uh, this First Avenue and Long Avenue. Uh, the homeowners or the property owners were charged the uh, COA fees, but there was existing there was existing dwellings on the properties. So we don't typically collect COA fees for properties that have dwellings unless you know so they were collected in error so we're refunding the that was nice job there. Thank you. it's refunded out of the trust account so it's not it's not charging the budget okay we have a motion a second anyone else have any questions hearing none all those in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. all those opposed the ayes have it Number eight, resolution to appoint Peter Mano as a full-time police officer at step two of the CBA with a salary of $58,363. Start date to be determined. Second. No motion. We have a second. Are there any questions or concerns? Rita, could we do a roll call vote, please? Mr. Cheek? Yes. Mr. Laws? Yes. Mr. Patali? Yes. Dr. Witherspoon? Yes. Mayor Shanker? Yes. Well, yes, and carry. Okay, thank you. Number nine, approvals. Minutes, regular minute meeting. Meeting minutes as September 16, 2024. So moved. <clears throat> we have a motion. We have a second. Any questions or concerns? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. B, minutes, executive session, minute meeting minutes, September 16, 2024. So moved. Second. We have a motion second. Any questions, concerns? 
Rita, can we do a roll call vote, please? Mr. Chief? Yes. Mr. Laws? <coughs> yes. Mr. Batali? Yes. Dr. Witherspoon? Yes. Mayor Shanker? Yes. All yes and carry. C. Bills. Bill list total $911,480.44. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Are there any questions? It's not really a question. Well, it could be a question. I noticed that the New Jersey legal municipalities, <clears throat> uh, the conference is coming up, and I didn't see all of the, maybe everyone on the day just didn't want to go, but I didn't see any of the committee people on there besides the mayor. So it's, does anybody else want to go besides me? I guess not. Okay. Any other questions? Rita, can we do a roll call vote, please? Sure. Mr. Cheek? Yes. Mr. Laws? Yes. Mr. Batali? Yes. Dr. Witherspoon? Yes. Mayor Shanker? Yes. Number 10, reports. Mr. Administrator? I have nothing to add. Thank you. Mr. Solicitor? Nothing to report at this time, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Engineer? I'm going to apologize for being late. It's quite all right. Very and fast meeting time. so far. <laughs> I'll time. keep it short and nothing to add. <laughs> okay. Very good. You just slowed us down. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, D, Township Committee members, Dr. Witherspoon. Uh, yes, I'd like to report that I will be the uh, Atlantic County Legal Municipalities meeting. And they brought the new machines for voters uh, that's going to be in the election. Um, it was, uh, and done a demonstration on that, and I thought that was very, uh, very helpful. I mean, I've voted on it before, but a lot of people have not. And a lot of municipalities and organizations are having demonstrations on the machines, so people won't, um, so people will be familiar when it's time to vote. Uh, so it was a very good um, presentation. So I was at that. I was at Art in the Park. Um, that was very nice. Uh, I enjoyed the time that I was there. I couldn't stay there long, but I did attend that event. I also, the same day, went to a night's football game. Um, my baby grandson plays on the nights, and I was happy they won that day. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. I did attend that um, meeting, and that's all I have to report at this time. Okay, thank you, Committee Member Tally. Um, I want to say congratulations to Oakcrest for uh, beating Gammy at football. <laughs> really, the only game that uh, that I'm really that concerned about. <laughs> and uh, and they won, so good job. Um, some stuff coming up. Funny Farm Fall Festival is Sunday, October 13th from 9 to 4 out there at the Funny Farm. Um, and then Fall Festival in War Memorial Park on Saturday, October 26th. That's from 9 to 4. Um, we have a shredding event, Public Works Building, on Saturday, October 19th. That's from 9 to 1. Uh, as I said, the Public Works Building, Atlantic Avenue, also take rigid plastics and batteries. Um, anything else? Is that it? I think that's it, right? Metal, too? Okay. Um, we have the Ghost Walk um, from the Historical Society is putting on the Ghost Walk again. That's Friday, October 18th from 6 to 8.30. Tickets are required. Uh, I believe you can get them on their website. I believe it's hamiltonhistorical.org, I believe. I'm looking for somebody out there. Nobody's agreeing with me, <laughs> so I'm guessing on what that is. <laughs> and the Halloween parade, of course, Wednesday, October 30th, uh, starts 6.30 p.m.-ish down Main Street. Uh, always a good time. Hopefully we get some good weather. Hope to see everybody out there. <clears throat> and um, just want to say um, all the political nonsense and everything that's going on, with what happened with that hurricane and then there's another one coming and it's it's huge but i know if you want to donate i know uh the pub has a box you can donate over at mill street pub um there'll be another truck going down i think this weekend coming up if you want to make some donations 
Uh, be careful who you donate to. Make sure you know it's going to the to the people that you wanted to go to. But uh, I can't imagine what they're going through. I was I was in Boone over the summer camping, and uh, and it was a beautiful place. And uh, I I can't imagine what what it looks like now. Uh, where we were was right on. There was a river running right through where we were at. So I can just imagine everything that's there was probably gone now. So it's it's really sad to see what's going on down there, and I just I, I just wish everybody could come together and stop, you know, pointing fingers and saying this and that, and just make things right, help everybody out, and uh, and we can get through that, and then move on to this next hurricane. It's going to hit Florida, and hopefully it some something happens, it dies out because right now it looks it's it's horrific. And uh, I'm sure we all have friends that live down there in the path. I know I, I've got several. Um, my neighbor just sold his house two weeks ago and moved to Cape Coral. So I think that's right in the, right in the path. So I think, uh, I think Bubba and Deb are probably second guessing what they just did. So, uh, prayers for all of them. And, uh, that's all from me, Reagan. Um, I'll see you soon. Love you. And Maddie, I miss you. Love you. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Minnie Cheek. Yes, yeah, so on a lighter note, the Ocrest Apsigami game, I am a member of the Apsigami Wall of Fame, so it didn't turn out the way I wanted, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, the Art in the Park was a beautiful day, and it was a nice event. And on a serious matter, my dad passed away a while ago, and I had my mother at the Atlantic County Veterans Services. My father was a veteran. Naturally, my mother wasn't. Just to all you veterans or spouses of veterans, it was an unbelievable, great experience how well they work and how well they communicate to find any benefit whatsoever, either a veteran or a veteran spouse. Please contact those people. They work very diligently, professional, and it was just a great experience. So if you fit that mold, don't hesitate to contact them. And that's all I have. Hey, thank you. Deputy Mayor Laws. Yes, um, no, the uh, Art in the Park was awesome. Um, we'd like to have seen it uh, better attended, um, but it was gr a great day. It's a beautiful <coughs> weather, and uh, a lot of wonderful people out there with some great art, um, some wonderful. We had some pretty creative people in this town. <laughs> but we managed to get some rocks painted. It was pretty nice. <laughs> um, Secondly, um, I'd like to congratulate a couple of young men uh, that went to Hamilton Township Schools from elementary school on, and you know, they, they ventured out in the high school and went to St. Aug. But uh, we, we're very proud of one young man who plays for Princeton. He's been having some outstanding games. He's been Dean's List, uh, just doing an out, outstanding uh, uh, a job. And then the other young man uh, goes to West Point, and uh, this week he rushed on seven carries for 139 yards, two touchdowns for over 60 yards against Tulsa. And uh, these two young men are just outstanding. Um, and uh, uh, Nasir and uh, uh, Kanye, um, will they both played for the Lakers. Um, uh, they've run track for me. And uh, so all that speed they got comes from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just it's something to really, really be proud of, to turn on the television and see Mays landing on the bottom of the kid's name, you know, when he scores a couple touchdowns. That, that's, that's pretty big. I try to take pictures of the screen every time it happens. I know. I know. Call me a homer. But uh, just shout out to those guys. Just uh, outstanding. Super proud of them. And super proud of the job that their parents did and that the school board did here. You know, those young men. That's it. Okay. Um, I have nothing to report tonight, so I'm going to open it up to public comment. Anybody in the public like to speak? One, two, can you hear me? Yes? Yes. We can. Kind can. of. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So my name is Jason Weber. Um, I live on Park Road. Um, this past week, I sent two sternly written letters to the committee. Uh, I'm assuming you're all familiar with that? Yes. Okay. Um, so I wanted to follow up tonight on 
uh, what I discussed in those letters. Uh, I'm a longtime resident of Park Road. Uh, the property's been in my family for over uh, five decades. My grandparents, uh, Patricia and Stuart Luteritz, purchased the property in 1967. <clears throat> um, so uh, I've, I've lived there at various points throughout my life. Uh, I purchased the property from my grandmother's estate in 2017. Uh, so I've got a, a pretty deep knowledge of the property and um, a vested interest in what happens there. Um, <clears throat> First, I want to thank uh, Mr. Watkins and Mr. Knoll for addressing the issues that, that I had written in those letters. Um, they were extremely helpful. Uh, most of the questions that I had were answered. My issue that I wrote to you about is the transparency. Because I felt, as I followed this very closely over the past couple of years, um, I felt that I was not informed. Um, so when I saw the sign on the road that said that construction was going to begin, it was complete news to me. Uh, and so that's where that letter originated from. Uh, you know, I've been following this very closely for the past two years. I've been looking on the website. I've been coming to committee meetings. Um, as it turns out, as we found out over the week, uh, over the week is that those meeting minutes were never posted where the engineer presented um, the construction there. Mm -hmm. So I was never aware of it. And, you know, at the outset of this, I wasn't convinced that this was the right thing to do. And I think there was a lot of opposition to this sidewalk because there are so many other things that need to be done before a sidewalk got put in. And I'm talking about enforcement. I'm talking about, you know, um, safety, tickets, things like that, that have never been done, like never. No tickets have ever been issued on Park Road for speeding. <clears throat> so that's why I wrote that letter. Um, Brett and Bob addressed quite a few things, but I think there's still some things that should be addressed. You know, uh, what are some of the rules that are going to happen on the sidewalk? I can, I can already imagine that bicyclers are going to be coming along while there's pedestrians there, and there's going to be an issue. Someone's going to hit someone while they're on a bike on the sidewalk where they're not supposed to be. Um, there's other unaddressed issues like people walking their dogs, okay? My property has become the default dog park for Maze Landing, where people come to take their dogs to defecate on my yard. And that is, there's a law against that in your code. Mm -hmm. So what's going to be done about that? What's going to be done about enforcement? Um, so these are some of the things that, that I wanted to address months ago and actually years ago when we actually first had that meeting. Uh, and so my issue is, is with the transparency and why haven't we done these other steps that should have been done first. Well, I can't tell you why it wasn't posted on the, the website because every, everything that we do should be on that website. So how that happened, I don't know. So I, I can understand if there was an error, but yes. it, it, with that and the previous controversy and then in that meeting when I went and looked at that meeting and watched it, right, it was brought up that should we notify the property owners, that was dismissed as not necessary because it wasn't legally required. Okay. Even if it's not legally required, we're still stakeholders as homeowners right there. Mm -hmm. And we should have been notified well ahead of this so that we could have raised our concerns. Okay. Um, so, you know, that, that leads with, leaves us with, um, you know, what's going to be done about the kids riding up and down the street on their bikes without helmets, because I believe that is a law as well. Uh, what are the rules for the sidewalk? Um, the speeding obviously is still a major concern. Uh, I think that um, some of the speed shelves and other traffic calming options should be looked at again. Um, litter is obviously a huge concern of mine. And then um, who's responsible for the right of way in terms of winter, you know, shoveling out front there. Uh, mowing, mowing the strip of, of property that's between the sidewalk and the property owner's place. I, Mr. Engineer, would you like to take on any of these? <clears throat> um, I believe the code calls for the homeowners responsible for, I guess, maintenancing or 
clearing the uh, sidewalk along the frontage mm -hmm. um, in a certain period of time uh, in reference to mowing. Um, I believe it's common that the property owner would mow that area as well. I know all the homeowners primarily along Park Road do mow that grass that's up to the curb line, which is actually the right-of-way line mm -hmm. um, right now. So, um, you know, we, we informed Mr. Weber that, you know, if, if the township's not mowing that area, it's going to stay the way it is. So the homeowner's response is not very much responsible, but they should maintain it in that area. And what okay. about shoveling on the sidewalk itself, like when, when it snows and things like that? I think, again, I, part of the ordinance for the city is the homeowner responsible for removing the snow in that area. Okay. So that's some of the things that, since we're responsible and we're stakeholders, we should be notified so that we can have some input as to mm -hmm. what happens here. So that was, that's where I was at. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ryan McCourt, 3067 Linden Avenue. I want to address the, uh, the hockey court, uh, what is it, that ordinance that you guys updated. Obviously, there was a problem. I brought this issue up in July through email to you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a problem with it. Since then, it's been addressed. And now there's a $15 uh, administration fee. As a household taxpayer, I feel, as a resident, I should have access to the hockey courts, you know, to play there, you know without having to make a reservation, pay $15, which, you know, taxpayer dollars go towards these hockey courts. Mm -hmm. Why am I being assessed a $15 fee when MLAA can pay $500 and then that's refundable to them? I know they have a user agreement. Um, this is and true. Safety and stuff. I'm more than willing to sign, like, a safety, you know, waiver, you know. But it I also, com there and I it also comes with an insurance policy, yeah, too. Yeah, that's fine. I, like I said... You know, I want to go there and play hockey. I want to okay. use the courts for what they're intended for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with you guys, uh, you're using New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection and Green Acres, which I've been speaking with Jessica um, there. And, you know, she's like, oh, yeah, well, if they're compliant, they have to give you a reservation program. You guys updated that. But that fee is just, I feel that's ridiculous um, as being a taxpayer. And okay. you guys claim that it's for vandalism that's why it's locked well i did an oprah request on how many like police reports in the last three years you guys had two reports one was a physical altercation with hockey players juveniles and one was when the porta potties were tipped over mm -hmm. um so i'm like what vandalism is actually going on there and is it actually really like or is it there to just protect the deck that's part of it yeah but it's there to protect it but I mean, you're blocking also the residents. And if you're going to do that, you're kind of assuming that we're there to destroy our, you know, our We're, not, our we're not assuming that. And then I want to know, where does it stop? You guys are, you know, upgrading Underhill. Mm -hmm. Do you lock it down? No. Why the hockey courts? We have two hockey courts. One's open 24-7. Yeah. We chose to lock the other one because it has a brand new court. I, I just feel like it should be open to the public for public use. If there's... You know, okay. the team's playing on it, and I want to play by myself, and there's an open court there, but it's locked. I'm being restricted. And as a taxpayer, like a household taxpayer, I feel I need, like, I feel I should have access to it. Mm -hmm. you, you know, the reservation works. And if you want to charge residents, like non-residents, 15 bucks, I'm all for that. <laughs> but I feel residents should have an easy, like, transparent, like, call up Carol, you know, a Google Doc, a live doc. You know, mm -hmm. that kind of works the MLA schedule in there. And you can sign up, and then it's, it works out great. But okay. for a timeable lock. Is there a reason why you couldn't use the other court? Was it, a, I mean, was it not available? There's, sometimes there's people on there playing, you know. It's a, it's a public court. And I, maybe I just want to shoot by myself. I want to run around. Okay. Know? And there's an open court there, but I'm restricted on using okay. it. Okay. Mr. Solicitor, are we compliant here? Um, Mayor, we are, and obviously, as committee knows, we've had discussion multiple meetings back to back. We also had a conversation with DEP. One of the reasons we updated this and included the reservation system was to be in full compliance with DEP because, as committee knows, 
those fields were under green acre funding, so they're regulated based on those green acre restrictions. So everything from the reasonable fee all the way to locking them has been run by uh, DEP. Okay. Can I add something? Sure. Um, I brought this issue up in July. That's when I first initially brought it up. It was actually in 2021. You guys are pushing the goalpost because there was not a fee. There was not a fee in that, uh, in that uh, ordinance. Now, since I brought attention to it and I'm requesting access, you guys are putting that fee out there. Mm -hmm. So it's, if, I had, if I'm growing sunflowers in my garden and then you guys make an ordinance, no sunflowers growing in your garden, I already grow sunflowers in my garden. So you guys are basically restricting me doing what I was already doing. I'm like kind of grandfathered in. I brought this issue up, and then now you guys are assessing a fee, once again blocking me from using the hockey courts. Well, okay. what, was your, what's your, what was your name? Ryan McCourt. Ryan? Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Anyone else? <laughs> Lisa Moy, 1932 Cologne Gardens, apartment F12. I come before you again because they presented me again with another, do I want to update my lease? And now it's for $1,715. They also want to institute a $15 insurance on each apartment, okay? I know I'm not the only one. People are moving out left and right with the things that they're saying are being done to them. Uh, I brought a, another person with me that, you know, that they forced out already. It's crazy. I don't know what else we can do, but I would love to do something. Is there anything anybody knows that, you know, may be able to help us, residents? Is that the first number you use? Is that, what was that? The thousand dollars? First one, it started out, this is the third one. Okay. The third one, uh, since they brought us, this is the third one of 200 and I guess about $75, they're trying to raise the rent, plus the $15 fee this year. So your rent is that thousand, what was that number? 715 now is okay. what they want us to pay. Okay. You know, and which is crazy, which means my sister and I have nowhere to live because we don't have that much. Okay. You know, so what do we do? Well, do you want to address this uh, solicitor? Yes. Mr. We've been Mayor. looking into this mm -hmm. since the last time we talked. That's correct. Actually, the municipality had a meeting last week uh, regarding affordable housing. It's something that there's been a lot of changes, and there will be a lot of changes across the state. It's a problem affecting residents statewide, not just in Hamilton Township, both on the affordability, on buying houses, and the rental market as well. Um, I know that DCA is making a, a substantial change over the next few months. We are one of the many municipalities that are sitting by that we have a team that was created during the last committee meeting uh, to address this, and we're looking forward to see what legislative changes they're making. So we're going to be a part of this to be able to sit back and see what affordable housing changes come down the pike in the next few months as well. And we'll continue to report back to the committee, which comes to the residents as well. Okay, I know you say the next that. few months, but within a couple months, I would have to sign this. So what does that say in um, just move? The, the, Basically, yeah. You have to find something that's, that you can afford and it's very expensive to live in New Jersey. You know, one bedroom apartments are 1700 two bedrooms are $2,500 all the way around. And it's a lot of money. It it's is a lot, a lot of, of money. money. And what do you do when you don't have that money? Then where do you live? Right. That's a question. It's a, it's a humanitarian question because everybody deserves to have some place to go especially living in the United States of America. Yeah, and definitely not under the boardwalk. I'm not, I've, I've worked all my life. I did everything that was asked to me, and now I'm asked to go and live in the street because what? Because we have people that come in and want to take 
Because that's what it comes down to. It's a thing about taking, and I think we should also look into people that come to buy in our township. You're looking to, you want to rent to people, but you're not renting. You're just taking. You're asking people to give you their hard-earned money, and you're not giving them anything in return. And so, therefore, I ask, the next time anybody comes in to buy up any property, ask them first what they're going to do for the people not what they're going to do for their people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to report for the school board that we were able to get a bid for Duberson. Um, we accepted the bid and they are, we will be closing within 30 days. And so it looks like this one's actually moving forward. Good. So I just want to report that. And then also that um, one thing that was left out on Carl's report was the PTA's uh, trunk or treat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Next. Sorry. On the 16th, I think, is Saturday. Whatever the Saturday is, the 16th-ish. But um, we'll have two sessions and hopefully be serving Song up to 500 13. kids. Two sessions at 250 kids. Nice. Hopefully everybody can come out and enjoy that. Well, is the third you. Saturday, Dr. Nelson? I'm oh, sorry? The third Saturday? Yeah, I think it's like the 16th. It's the 19th. 19th? 19th? I'm sorry. When's day 30 for the sale of the of Duberson? Do you know? Um, it, we, What's the date? I know where you're going. <laughs> uh, we accepted it on last uh, two Wednesdays ago. So we are about 50 more days. I'll get you the exact date when it's accepted. But it's been accepted when, uh, when we physically close. Yeah, I think they're going to close before the end of the month. So, all right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else from the public like to speak? Motion to close public. Second. Motion second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. We will now adjourn, adjourn to executive session. Order to show cause, Atlantic County versus State of New Jersey. Docket num number Atlantic. 1947-24, attorney-client privilege, pending and or, litiga or litiga anticipated litigation. We also are doing number 12, additional executive session item, municipal court update, attorney-client privilege. We have a motion to adjourn to, adjourn to Make your motion. executive session. Second. A motion, we have a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. Will we be coming